Hey, how you guys doing? I kind of want to take you on this journey with me. So in this video, we're going to study the doctrine of baptize. Starts here in St. Matthew 3.11. I indeed baptize thee with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is neither is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. So when we're reading this, read, studying a doctrine, we should take sometimes a couple verses before and a couple verses after, so we have good context. So the next uh, verse we're going to read is Matthew 1, or Mark 1, 4, and then after that, 1, 8. I'll, so I'll start with the beginning. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the, in the prophets, Behold, I sent my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. The voice of, the, of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. So we'll just read to one eight. And John was clothed with the camel's hair and with a girdle of skin about his loins, and he did eat locust and the wild honey and preached saying there cometh one mightier than i after me the latchet of whose shoes i am not worthy to stoop down and unloose i indeed have baptized you with water but he shall baptize you with the holy ghost that's kind of insinuating that there's something that hasn't happened yet christ dying on the cross so next we're going to go to luke okay so here in uh Luke 3.16, we're going to start before it for context. We're going to start in verse 12. Then came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. For the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. And as the people were in expectation and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not. John answered, saying unto them, All, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh the latchest of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and will gather the wheat into his garner, but the chaff will he, he will burn with fire unquenchable. So now we're going to do John one twenty six and one thirty three. We'll start in 22. Then said they unto him, Who art thou, that we may give an answer to them that sent us? What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him and said unto him, Why baptize thou then? If thou be not the Christ, nor Elias, neither that prophet. John answered them, saying, I baptize with water. But there standeth one among you whom ye know not. He is he it is who cometh after who, who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latcheth I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in Bethsheba, or Bethabara, beyond Jordan, and were where John was baptizing. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. This is of this is he of whom I said, After me cometh a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. And I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel, therefore I am come baptizing with water. And John bare record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending, and remaineth on him, he same is he which baptized with the Holy Ghost. Okay, now we're in 1 Corinthians. It's going to be 1 Corinthians, verse 1 
or chapter 1, verse 17. We're going to start in 13. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the same name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you, but Cripus and Gaius, lest any should say that I had baptized in my own name. And I baptized also the household of Stephanus, besides I know not whether I baptized any other. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. So Paul is the one writing Corinthians. Um, forgive me if I had some utterance or stuttering of words. I'm not um, used to reading self-pronouncing text. I typically read from this one. But this one is authorized, so I just I feel like I should be reading from this one. I'm not sure yet. But that's what I'm doing tonight. That's the doctrine I studied tonight. I still have baptized, baptism, baptisms, and baptizeth to do. I'll probably do those tomorrow night. But what I'm getting at, what I'm getting to so far with the doctrine of baptize, is we're baptized with water. Um, in the name of the Lord for the remissions of sins. But Jesus Christ comes and baptizes us with the Holy Ghost. And I think that's a different kind of baptism. And there's another verse further along that says one baptism, one faith. I think it's alluding to something. And that's why it's important to have doctrine that is scripturally biblical, meaning the doctrine, the word, that has definition through verses comes from the scripture. God bless you guys. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ.